Welcome to Red Recaps. For today's video, we will be taking a recap of a comedy action starring Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson, the man from Toronto. Sit tight and relax for a fun and exciting adventure. The movie begins by introducing a frustrated gym equipment seller named Teddy. After Teddy, an intimidating middle-aged scourger was introduced. Teddy talks about his wife, about getting some business proposal done and a vacation in Onancock, Virginia. Teddy pitched his idea about a non-contact boxing, yes, non-contact, to the gym owner Marty. Teddy got fired, non-surprisingly, after he left out the address and a contact number on a marketing flyer. The scourger gets back to his house with weapons in his kitchen, money in drawers, with Iron Man-like home. The scourger receives a tip from his handler and guess where? In Onancock, Virginia. Teddy dropped off his wife in the spa and head first to their cabin. Teddy entered their rented cabin and got greeted by a tall, muscle guy, bald dude. A stereotype for bad guys. The bald dude led Teddy to the basement and look what Teddy found. A guy tied to the ceiling beat up. The bald dude said that Teddy was a famous torturer, a five foot four intimidating torturer, the man from Toronto. After some whispering, shouting, whispering, and at last shouting, the tied up man spoke up, and a stun grenade was thrown, and suddenly the FBI is here with an army. What a turn of events! Teddy tried to escape, but got smashed by a tree. FBI told Teddy that a terrorist mistaken Teddy as the man from Toronto. They requested Teddy, a quite skillful, smart man, to pretend as the man from Toronto. FBI said that he needs to meet the terrorist in DC. The original scourger goes to the cabin on Onancock and finds that his job was done by somebody else. He found out on a paper that the name of the fake is our little friend, Teddy Jackson. Teddy arrived in DC, intending to deceive the terrorist and lure it out. But he got company, the real man. He met Marin to lead him to the colonel. The man hijacked the backup FBI's car and followed them. Marin told our friend Teddy that he needs to do another torturing job in Puerto Rico. Teddy got transferred to a private jet and is headed to Puerto Rico. From a delusional gym equipment sales guy to an S-rated torturer real quick. As they boarded the plane, the real man from Toronto sneaked in, claiming he is the real deal. Our friend here, Teddy, does not give in and insisted that he is the real one. Now we got two men from Toronto. The guards of Marin didn't believe the true man, and hell break loose as they fight him off the plane. The pilot was accidentally stabbed and the plane came spiraling down. As the plane accidentally got opened by our genius friend Teddy, the guards are swept and the two men barely survived. The real man took over the plane and barely brought them back to safety. The real man confronted the imposter Teddy. Well, the new formed duo is straight heading to Puerto Rico. They landed in Puerto Rico for the next part of the mission. Meanwhile, another man was introduced and he's the man from Miami, ready to intervene in Puerto Rico. The real man told Teddy he needs to continue impersonating him. The man dressed our dumbfounded Teddy to become him, not a non-contact boxing instructor. They arrived on a tech party event for the next mission. Teddy commenced his mission on a very orange-like place. He got greeted by a hippie-looking guy with tons of bodyguards. The mission got a little harder as there are four of them and one of them leads him to the mission. As the real man instructing our non-contact boxer, he is doing the job clumsily. And by I mean clumsy, yes, really clumsy. As he accidentally cut one of them in the eyes, puking at them like the great torturer he is. Fantastic work, Teddy. And surprisingly, one of them talk, but our spectacular guy Teddy just got caught wearing a wire. The real man showed up to the room and quickly finished them up. They interrogate the Mr. Green and told them Marin needed his thumbprint. The man needed the thumbprint, so he cut the thumb. Simple guy. He told Teddy to deliver it to Marin as a last part of the mission. And suddenly, the man from Miami came out of nowhere and stole the thumb. Toronto chased Miami while our best friend Teddy is holding on for his dear life. Teddy, who might not be the luckiest man, found the thumb hanging. 
They retrieved the thumb ass for Teddy. He got shot in the ass. Teddy told Toronto that his handler is lying to him. They flew back to DC and hand the thumbprint back to Marin. On their way, the man lectured our friend a little bit about his miserable life. They go to a fancy restaurant to meet with Teddy's wife for her birthday, but they are being under surveillance from the FBI. Now it became a double date. Look who party crashed, the man from Miami. We also got the FBI on the heels of our duo. Miami was still after the thumb and told them that it was the handler that told him to intervene. And the fight begins, a two versus one fight, or should I say one and a half man. Our friend Teddy accidentally shot Toronto in the leg. Great work. Miami got the thumb and they want to intercept it back. The man from Miami reached Marin and the colonel to give the thumb. And guess who showed up? The handler, not behind the phone. We got a glimpse of Toronto's backstory in Minnesota as he spared a man who has a kid. He convinced Teddy to become the Toronto one last day. As Marin and the Colonel get the code on the thumbprint, they are ready to blew up some Americans. And right before he trigger it, our hero, Teddy the man from nowhere, arrived the scene claiming that Miami is the imposter. The man of the hour, Teddy, convinced the handler that he is the real Toronto, not the bald guy on his back. That's his driver. As he nearly convinced all of them, the FBI broke in. The handler escaped as well as Toronto, and our duo got separated. Toronto break away with the money and took off. Teddy got retrieved by the FBI and said that the thumb was fake and the bomb wouldn't go off. Our hero Teddy peculiarly saved the day, but at what cost? His wife Lori called him that he needed to take her time off Teddy. The handler called Toronto threatened him that she is going to hurt Teddy if he didn't hand the money over. The handler scrolled to numerous men from various cities. She picked the man from Moscow, Tokyo, and Tacoma. That's quite a group right there. Lori told Teddy that she's going off the town. As Teddy tried to reach her before she goes off, he got interrupted once again by the vibrant Miami. Miami hammered Teddy as he don't know where Toronto go. And look who it is, the man from Toronto saving him, finally beating Miami. Our duo is reunited. Toronto wants to help Teddy get back Lori, but the hillbilly Tacoma brothers now attacked them. They escaped to the gym. Yes, the gym owned by Marty who fired him, but got meet by the man from Moscow. Moscow in their front, Tacoma at their heels. Our dynamic duo fought back. They used all the equipment at the gym as weapons versus some chainsaw, bow gun, and axe. Quite a match. As they are nearly being defeated by the Tacomas, Miami got back to the scene and gunned the Tacomas. Miami poked his shotgun right on Toronto's face and wham! Our no contact boxer, our hero, the man from Yorkie, packed Miami his first ever contact punch. As soon as they taught all was over, the handler with a big ass gun showed up blueing everything. The handler trapped our duo in a food factory but she doesn't realize that she's standing on a levered bridge. And there it is, our hero Teddy pulled the lever, saving their lives. The whole factory blew up and our duo survived. But as we thought that everything is done, the man from Tokyo has arrived. And just like that, he's dead. Toronto crashed him down, 10 seconds screen time. Toronto let Teddy borrow her car to catch up to Lori. Teddy caught up to her but he left the car on the train track and he got apprehended by the police. Completely teddied it. One year later and apparently our Toronto now owned a resto. And our hero Teddy finally got his gym teaching non-contact boxing. What a fun exciting movie. Wow. Have you enjoyed the video? Leave a comment down below if you liked this video. If this movie piqued your interest, you can watch it in the links down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching Red Recap. See you in the next video.